guys. How's it going? I just wanted to say thank you so much. Loretta and Jason here. Uh, so our last episode, we asked you guys for a little help and everybody, you know, had such great input and ideas. So we have decided we kind of were on the fence, but we, we knew this was the, the most important thing we should start with. Yeah, we got um, some gutters to put on, heave troughs, or whatever you want to call them. And uh, we're going to get some rainwater from our roof. As Loretta would say, sky water. Sky water. We're going to have sky water. <laughs> so um, <laughs> we're going to get that done today and uh, yeah. hopefully get some totes in here and get some water. We want it to rain and it won't rain. So we're going to get started with these gutters. Uh, we've never done this before. Jason and I, uh, he's going to be obviously the uh, muscle behind all of this, but I'm here for moral support. The brains. Uh, no, the brains. moral support. And he's going to put all this stuff together. So wish us luck and uh, let's hope it works out all right. We might do a test run with some water just to see if it's going to work because we have no rain coming this weekend. All right. Thanks, guys. Again, thank you so much. Game on. Never done this before. But all the brackets, I hope everything's right. So I'm going to say that that all goes together before you install it. I don't know what, uh, how far apart you put them, three, four feet. We got lots. Okay. Let's see um, how this looks. Again, I've never done this, so. Hmm. Does that go over top of it? I'm not really sure. Parts and pieces. Oh yeah, this is no problem. Can you hold that so it doesn't slide? Please. Does it piss you off when I do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it doesn't I'll actually. I'll just stop. <laughs> I guess what I'm not understanding is where do the screws go? You said there's some pre-drilled screws. Yes, they go right there. Oh, in that thing. Oh, I didn't catch your face there. That wasn't really an eye roll. That was more of a, I'm going to throw this thing soon. No. There it goes. Oh, my band aid stuck in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we have to put all this together first. Really? We can't okay. do this up there because... Oh, no, that's too much, uh, too much messing around. <laughs> but I like it. That's slick. Is it good? Okay, now that you know how to do it, it's good. I was worried it was going to be a pain in the butt. It looked a little hard to deal with. I missed that. There's a, another piece here that's got a gasket on it. It fits in here and locks us all in together. Okay. So I think we got to go from the edge here again. Like that. Oh. Really? This one gets pushed down and goes under here. I have an let idea. Me, oh, let me, let me take gonna... this off again. No, I can't do that because that makes no sense. That side's in. I know my best. It's okay. Sorry, guys. I need something to push it. Can you go on that side? So hear, I can what push I, against you? hear what I'm saying, though. Maybe a little oil or something to make it a little bit. Uh... You're not going to crack this stuff. Okay, I'm pushing against you now. Yep, push. <laughs> it's yeah. going. <laughs> it's tug of war. It's opposite tug of war. There we go. There you go? Yeah. Hmm. You did it. So same thing, exact same thing. Yeah, but totally different. <laughs> exactly the same, but totally different. We won't know if this is going to work. Well, I guess we could pour some water down there just to yeah, see. Yeah, we should pour some water down there. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it out because I don't think we're going to get rain on this weekend that we're here. Um. 
I do that so when it gets edited, it's easier to do. <laughs> First of all, I would have put this all inside and heated it up. Probably would have helped a lot. Yeah, well, sorry. We'll go that, that way more. <laughs> you got to see this. <laughs> I'm pushing it's, with it's my reverse tug of war. Go. Hang on. Ready? Go. Yeah, go. Ready? Oh, oh, are you okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Golfing. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Do you see what I have to deal with, guys? So we'll cut this. I didn't want to be inside, I can tell you that. Toby's over there or something. <laughs> I gotta set this in first. They're cold, eh? And it's just. Oh, I thought they were in it's, there for a while, warmed up. Huh? It's hard to work with them when they're cold. That's perfect. Right there. There's that side. Does not want to go past here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in. It's in now. Yeah. <laughs> he deserves that. I don't deserve You're it. You're yelling at me. I wasn't yelling at you. You're yelling at me. No, I wasn't. I forgot a piece, so we're putting the downspot on it now. Got clearance, good. Looks pretty darn good there, eh? Sure. Boom! Yeah. Ding! It's gonna work great. Working that water. 
I know it's weird to be excited about small things like this, guys, but we're going to have water. We'll figure out drinking water later. At least drinking water, we can just bring one or two every once in a while. It's fine. Uh, drinking water is overrated. <laughs> So just explain to me what you're doing here. I'm just making the fall for the, where it's going to fall. Right. For the slope for the water. So Jason's going to put a brace up here so that uh, we can just put our assembled eaves troughs up because it's going to be kind of tricky to deal with. Just to hold it, it's not heavy. No. I'm so paranoid with ladders. <laughs> Don't fall. It's not funny. Way better. Okay. Right now I'm gonna climb the ladder and I'm gonna set this up on the roof. Okay. Good. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work either. I gotta disconnect all that. Yeah. All right, bring it down. What do you gotta disconnect? Set this. Just set it down. Just set it down. Just set it down. I have to disconnect the connector on that. It's right there. It's an easy connector to disconnect. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you were talking about taking this whole freaking thing apart. No. All right. Thank you. I, I can cut it and put it back in. Can you? Alright, we'll do that another time. We'll just test it. I screwed up. It's all good. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's no big deal. good we have sky water catchers guys sky water yeah ready yep. oh no <laughs> oh gosh look at that <laughs> That's for Jay. Mmm, dinner. Yummy. Oh, what's wrong with my dog? <laughs> what a goof. Look, he's got all kinds of space. So we're going to put the toad in this corner right here. All the fall comes here. There's going to be a line come down here to the toad. The toad will sit right here. We'll block it up and uh, plumb it into the house. Perfect. So Jason's yeah, re you got some zip ties there? Yeah, I'm going to go get some zip ties. You got three of them, that's perfect. Yeah, I actually have three left in this bag. So I'm going to give them to you here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop teaching me to be a pain in the butt like you are.
Okay. And we're going to grab it from each side, lift it, and then put it on. You can put your hand in one of these bars, yeah. and then put your shoulder right into this. Like this. It will help you out a lot. Alright. Oh, oh. Hang on. Give me a second. Road block. Alright. Holy. Oh, yeah. You got it, I think. See? Okay, I'm going to show you guys. Oh, what do you think of that? I like it. Yeah. So he found an old piece of gutter. This is actually metal, so it doesn't really match, but we can MacGyver it up, maybe. I'm pretty happy with the way it is. I'm really broken. No, it's, it's definitely sturdy. So we have a cover for the IBC tote, and that's to prevent algae growing. We are gonna use a little bit of chlorine pux too, just to, because it's just for washing water right now. And then this thing. The filter sock thing for the top. Yeah, I don't know exactly how it goes on. It doesn't look like it fits properly, but so maybe it goes on that top part, the screw in top part. Is there another hole there? Yeah. Yeah, that's a perfect piece. Get the front piece. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. No, that's fine. So the only problem is this filter isn't the right size. So for now, we got to retrofit it somehow just so we can use it this week and then I'll try and look around better for the proper thing. It, it just doesn't, it just doesn't fit. It's like it's too big or it's too small. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. This is all trial and error. I'm probably going to have to open the end of this a bit and maneuver it so it fits over top of this. My idea is it's going to fit over top of that and come over here like this. It's not hooked up yet, but we got drips off the roof here from the snow. This down pipe, I'm just going to rig it into here. It's going to flow down and it's going to go right into the tank here with the filter. You can always put a downspout in it too. Like See, water is going into the hole. We got sky water, guys. We got sky water. You just screwed it in? Yeah. This is just till next week when we get all the stuff we need. Yep. Just checking it out. That should work. And then we'll just have to clean it out once in a while. Redneck sky water catcher. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm sorry, but this, uh, this is exciting. We don't have to tote washing water anymore. Oh. I think we're going to make a shower. It's going to be an outdoor shower slash connected to the home and I think what I'm going to do is where this barbecue is, I'm going to extend the deck out a bit, I'm going to put the shower right here. Okay. It'll be enclosed, it's going to have the board and batten look, You'll and it's going to have a, a roof that's going to go like this, with another piece of heat trough to help it. Yep. And it might even be able to sustain itself. Yeah, but for now, the this water we're the collecting shower. here is going to be for the shower. The and one, then, uh, yeah. The one at the back will be for the kitchen. Then we'll have one at the back of the house for the kitchen. And this one will be miscellaneous, pressure washer, yeah. clean outside, and transfer to any other tanks that need it. Yep. Perfect. So that's why we're doing three tanks. And then this year will be the year we don't get any rain and spoil our plants. No! Let's be positive. <laughs>
action. Oh. <laughs> We took a really fun ATV ride out to Lake Nipissing at this gorgeous spot. Got some really nice drone footage, but all good things must come to an end, as they say. Loretta's quad broke down again. Again, we'd like to thank all our awesome subscribers for watching. We've got a lot of new people along for the ride now, and we couldn't be happier. Thanks so much, everyone. Much love. See you again soon. We'll be back up again next weekend.